Hey guys, it's Antis, and we're back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now today we're going to be playing a little bit of detective, and we're going to be going and hunting down the clues, and following the map, and tracking down the serial killer. Um, I've seen this a few times online. The only reason I decided to make a video of it is because I had a few really weird glitches that happened once I encountered the serial killer, and rather than just show the end of it and show some funny little things that happened, I thought I'd just show you guys all the clues. So we're down here by the first clue. Um, you can get all three clues in any order, but I'm already down here by Braithaway Manor. This is the farthest away one. It's right by the S on the word Meadows there. You can find it at this big tree here. Uh, as you can see, there's a body hanging there, the word Behold. Uh, when you get to these sites, you'll most likely have uh, noticed the body hanging there, but what you're looking for is you're looking for a head, and the head will have a map shoved into its mouth, and you want to get that. Those are the three clues. So we're going to go around the back side of the first tree here. This is where you can find the first, uh, the first guy's head. We'll go ahead and interact with him and pull that map out. This goddamn country. As you can see there, you can't really make much sense of it. Doesn't really look like anything just yet. You'll tape all three maps together once you uh, get all three clues. So let's go ahead and leave here and let's head on over to the next clue. Alright, so we're over here just south of Valentine, underneath the train tracks here. Let me show you on the map. You can see the little... You, you should be able to find it pretty easily. It's like the only spot where there's kind of a bridge there, just south of Valentine. Just follow the tracks and you'll see it. Um, you can see the body hanging here. This is one of the clues that I've never gotten, uh, but I've seen several times. Um, and at first I didn't know what it was. I was just like, okay, and I just walked by it. Um, it says, look, at, look onto my works or something like that there. Uh, the head can be found over here. It's right through the eyes and stuck to the, the wood there. So you interact with that and go ahead and get that next piece of the map. Another one. Through the eye, too. <sighs> Poor bastard. <sighs> and it looks like this is a middle piece because you can see that the top kind of matches the one piece we already got. Uh, but still not quite enough to put a whole picture together. So let's go ahead and go for that third piece. Alright, so here we are, the third and final piece. It is just south of Wallace Station there. If you follow the little train tracks over, you can actually see the blood trail going from the train tracks over this way toward these rocks. So we're going to go ahead and get out and go over here. Um, there's a bunch of birds and vultures sitting up on this one, so I was just kind of shooting at them, messing around a little bit. Um, but the body is on the other side of the vultures there. You can actually already see the head. It's right there on the smaller rock with the map hanging out. Um, but let's go ahead and turn over this way and check out this body first. It says, do you see... Uh, be warned about this rock. For some reason, my guy just auto-jumped it, and then I kept hitting to inspect it, and then my guy just started resting. So I don't know what the deal was. Uh, it was just kind of a weird little little moment there. Let's go ahead and inspect this note finally and get this third and final clue here. Another one of these. Oh, Lord. <sighs> it looks like part of a fallen down house. Maybe a cellar around the back with a code. Maybe there's a safe in the bottom or something. So let's go ahead and head over to where all the clues lead. And then we'll we'll meet this serial killer. Alright, so we're already here. You can see the white, uh, white circle with the question mark. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the map. I just pieced it together. Um, I still don't understand the first part. I guess it's saying go over a bridge somewhere and then find the basement and then use the code. Um, once you have all three clues and then you come here, it's Lucky's Cabin. It's uh, to the west and a little bit south of Valentine there. Um, there will be a question mark as long as you have all three clues. So let's go ahead and head over there. 
Um, as you can see, it's just a broken down cabin, uh, cabin with a little cellar there, so get out a lantern just in case it's dark down there. We'll go over and try to open this thing. Um, as you can see, there's a lock there, so we're actually using the code to get into, into the cellar. All right, and we're in. <clears throat> There's like something weird, the little white dot floating there. I don't know why. I think it's like a mission marker that's just in a weird spot. I'm um, using the electric lantern because I got it from the mission. And, uh, you know, it's a unique item, so I thought it'd be cool. But I feel like the lighting for it is very poor, so you're probably better off just sticking with a regular lantern. Uh, there's a lot of gruesome stuff down here. There's a letter we can interact with. It seems like anywhere in this main room you can interact with the letter, even though it's behind us. I'll leave it here for a second. You can pause it if you want to read it. It's just like a letter from a concerned citizen to the editor of like a newspaper. Basically, he's writing about himself, trying to make himself get known, I guess. But you can see a lot of different knives and stuff, a lot of blood everywhere. A few items to take. You really don't get any rare items or anything from this mission. Uh, it's just kind of a cool little thing to do. It's got some reward posters for a missing, looks like a missing girl. Follow the blood smear around here. It's got a camera set up. It looks like he's done. It looks like he does most of his work here. Pretty gruesome scene. Really gross. You can actually see a head on the shelf back there that has another note in it. Um, it's a shame we can't interact with them. I'm curious what it says. Once you come in here, though, it does prompt for the actual mission. It wants you to interact with the knife. So let's just look around for a second before we mess with the knife. Come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? <sighs> you should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice. And fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. At least, no one's found it nice so far. Maybe you'll be the first. <laughs> Do you like pain? Is it your friend? It's about to become your very close friend. Very close. But when it's over, release. Glorious release. Now, there's no point fighting. You might as well try and relax a little bit. this all nasty surprise or maybe it's both maybe it is a nasty surprise even though you knew I was going to be here which is it <sighs> he 
you should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what's about to happen. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice and fun. I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it won't be nice for you. All right, so as you can see there, there's our interactions with the uh, serial killer here. Now, be careful how you hit him. Watch how I punched him into a corner, and now I'm supposed to hog tie him. It may be a little hard to see. I know it's a little bit dark, but I'm going to go ahead and hog tie him. Now watch his body. I'm trying to I'm going to go try to pick him up. Whoop! He just totally disappeared. Um I don't know where he went. So, I for a second there I was very confused. I I didn't get what happened and I was looking around the room. I thought maybe he just you know, moved just slightly to be out of a glitched area. It completely threw him out of the uh, the cellar here. So we're gonna have to go pick him up. He's actually down the the, the road about halfway. So we'll grab him. You can actually see just poof there. The, the dot was there, but he wasn't there yet until we got into into the uh, to the little area there. So we're gonna go ahead and stick him on the back of the horse, and we're gonna go take him to the sheriff in Valentine. Now, I I went ahead and let him talk. I wanted to see how much dialogue he had the first time around. Um, I didn't know he was going to kill me, so that was kind of funny. It was uh, definitely a shock. And then whenever it goes into the uh, the dead screen with the black and white, boy, does he have a creepy look. But also at the same time, it's really funny because if you look, his eyes are pointed in two different directions. And it's just um, it's kind of sad. That fella you've been looking for? Which fella? <clears throat> Put him on the floor and let's take a look at him. I'm not giving you a cell until you introduce this boy. Now put him down there. Fella been... been... <sighs> nothing nice. A lot of folk gone missing over the past few years. And this sick son of a bitch, he ain't right in the head. That's so. Head on over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, you. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. Oh, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer, don't you worry about that. And you get in that cell, come as you be. Alright, so as you can see, it glitched here again. He's supposed to be on the ground fighting the sheriff, and I'm supposed to shoot him to save the sheriff's life. And he, like, jumped into the air, and and then that's it. And now, if you pay attention to the writing, apparently the sheriff killed him, and so then he just falls over dead. Um, now, you're supposed to save the sheriff, right? And then the sheriff will give you a reward, because you did all your stuff. Well, since you didn't help him, the sheriff doesn't even reward you at all, so that's the end of the mission. It's kind of lame. It's n The mission is definitely for fun. It's definitely not for a reward, because there really is no reward out of it. If you did everything correctly, the most you were going to get was $20 for this whole thing. Um, so that's, you know, that's it. Alright guys, but that's going to do it for this video. So as always, if you liked the video or you found it useful, then go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know any weird glitches you guys have found. Um, and if you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we'll have some more Red Dead Redemption 2 content coming out soon. So I'll see you guys later.